Self-Control by Mary Brunton is a compelling novel that delves into the complexities of human nature, societal expectations, and the pursuit of self-discipline. Published in 1811, the novel is situated within the Romantic era but stands out for its unique blend of moral didacticism and a nuanced exploration of characters. The narrative revolves around the life of Laura Montreville, a young woman grappling with the challenges of maintaining self-control in the face of adversity. Laura's journey unfolds against a backdrop of societal norms and gender expectations prevalent in early 19th-century Scotland. Brunton's exploration of these themes is not only reflective of the cultural milieu of her time but also serves as a timeless commentary on the universal struggle for autonomy and self-mastery. At the heart of the novel is the dichotomy between passion and reason, a recurring theme in romantic literature. Laura, a virtuous and sensitive protagonist, is torn between the dictates of her heart and the demands of societal conventions. This inner conflict is exacerbated by her tumultuous relationships with the two central male characters, Edward Lyndhurst and Colonel Hargrave. Edward Lyndhurst represents the rational and virtuous aspect of Laura's life. His character embodies the societal expectations of a suitable match, wealthy, well-mannered, and possessing a commendable social standing. However, Laura's attraction to the impulsive and passionate Colonel Hargrave introduces an element of chaos into her life. Hargrave serves as a foil to Edward, representing the unrestrained and unpredictable forces of desire. The tension between these two male figures mirrors Laura's internal struggle for self-control. The novel skillfully navigates the precarious balance between the heart and the mind, as Laura grapples with her emotions while striving to conform to societal norms. Brunton presents a nuanced portrayal of female agency, showcasing Laura's attempts to assert her independence within the confines of a rigid social structure. Furthermore, the novel engages with the concept of moral rectitude, a prevalent theme in early 19th century literature. Laura's commitment to virtue and self-discipline is not only a personal quest but also a reflection of the moral values upheld by society. Brunton uses Laura's character to interrogate the boundaries of morality and the consequences of deviating from established norms. The narrative unfolds through a series of epistolary exchanges, a stylistic choice that allows for an intimate exploration of the character's thoughts and emotions. This narrative technique enhances the reader's connection to the characters and emphasizes the internal struggles they face. It also provides insight into the societal expectations and norms that shape their decisions. Brunton's prose is marked by its eloquence and depth, showcasing a keen understanding of human psychology. The author employs vivid imagery and evocative language to bring the Scottish landscape and society to life. The novel's setting becomes more than a backdrop, it serves as a metaphorical space that reflects the inner landscape of the characters. In conclusion, Self-Control by Mary Brunton is a rich tapestry of emotion, morality, and societal critique. Through the character of Laura Montreville, Brunton explores the timeless theme of self-control and its intersection with societal expectations. The novel stands as a testament to the enduring relevance of the human struggle for autonomy, making it a significant contribution to the literary canon of the Romantic era.